Okay, my <clears throat> my messages are full and I can't receive or send anything until I clear them out. So I am updating my video log of <clears throat> Alea Bell's correspondence and mine. I think the last I left off was started with two, the 3rd of February, 2015, and this is 21st of February, 2015. So I texted Leah, Herb got a house. Oh. She's like, that's awesome. I'm happy for him. Now George needs one too, LOL. And I said, Herb wants me to move in there with him, you know. <clears throat> She's like, could Travis come? I said, what do you mean, could Travis come? If you went to Herb's. And I said, baby, if I went with Herb, Travis isn't the issue. In fact, the only reason that will keep me from going with Herb is, well, the only reason I care to have a house, the only reason I have to be alive, you, if he won't, he wants to. It's bothering him because he knows it's a necessary clause in the deal, so to speak, for you and yours to always, always have a room in wherever my home may be. He was talking about it to Jason the other day before I left. However, that's his everything. Everything. That's a big deal. I would hate for him to... <clears throat> Anyways, she's like, so what's the problem? I didn't answer. Uh, so... I say to her, hey, Labelle, this is like the next day. Hey, Labelle, did you know you are my angel baby cherub fairy princess magic willow tree of life? She didn't say anything. Eh. She's like, hey, mama. I said, hey. Um, I was like, hey, honey, I just wanted to remind you that I don't know where Grandma Peggy and Grandpa Daryl live, so I'm going to need directions. So don't forget. Okay, I won't. You go down Chestnut till you pass West, bypass, then you will see a Casey's gas station. On your left, you will turn left on the street right in front of it. I can't remember the rest of the way, but I will call when I get to Grandma's, and I will tell you. Um, she's like, keep going till you get to a street called Torkaloy or something kind of like that. I can't remember how it's spelled, but you turn right on that street. We went there, I had a video. So after we left, she's like, I love you, mama. Thank you so much for coming and seeing me and bringing my love. I said, anytime, lover, my pleasure. So good to see you and be with you, miss you so. She's like, hey, are you getting Travis when he's off work? I said, I don't know, babe, I haven't heard from him yet. Sugar, she's like, oh, okay, love you. Love you too, baby love. Mom, will you go get Travis? I just talked to him, and he is so faded from doing 3K pins. <laughs> wink, wink. He keeps trying to text and text you, and fall he's falling asleep. He's at AJ's. He was on heroin. He was more than faded. Way more than faded. Um, Mom, stop ignoring me. We were just talking. We were? Wait a second, wait a second. 9.33, 10.15. Mm, 45 minutes. It's a minute. Um, Travis is on his way to George's. Is the door unlocked? Why is it so hard for you and George to simply, just simply respond to my texts? If I was being kidnapped, you would have no idea because you can't seem to answer your freaking phone. Wow. All of this is within, like, less than five minutes. I'm like, George is almost there to get Travis a Leia bell. I was drying my hair. Oh my god, you were drying your hair for 30 minutes at 10.30 p.m.? I was in the shower before that. Fuck. And she has a little face. Um, we talked on the phone. I told her I tried to call. I said it was going straight to voicemail. She's like, I know. And a question mark. She wants to know where they're at. What's going on? Ah. You know, I mean, and this is all within like 15 fucking minutes. Now I'm like, question mark, because I don't know. 
She's like, is George back yet? I'm like, no, and he's not answering either, just so she knew I had called him so she didn't have to crawl up my ass or waste her breath or a text. She's like, ugh, call AJ. Thank God. At that very moment, I heard the door open and Georgie and Travis were on their way up. So anyways, I say, they're here. She's like, they, question mark? The fuck does she think I'm talking about? Yes, George and Travis. Oh, how convenient. Both of their phones died. Convenient. Ask Travis if he's going to charge his phone or if I should just go to sleep. I'm like, no, not really, not convenient. And his phone is plugged in. She's like, that's great. I put question mark. She's like, she called me. I remember this. She called me right after that. And she's like, he said that it wasn't convenient to call me. I'm like, no, I said that it wasn't convenient that both their phones were dead. Then she's like, can you send me pics of us today? And I just realized I didn't take a pic with you, sad face. I'm sorry, Mama. Right. Show me. So anyways, and I said, to this number, no to Facebook, she says. Tell him he better turn his phone on. I'm falling asleep. Hey, Mama. I said, hey, baby doll. How are you today? Okay, how are you, Mama? Hun, i I'm as good as I can be without you, which is nothing to write home about. I miss you terribly, my love. I know, I miss you too. What are you doing? I said, just checking out the apartment. Travis is a messy little hippo. What are you doing, love? Uh, LOL, I'm sorry. Tell him he needs to pick up after himself. He's so selfish sometimes. So selfish he is sometimes. I just watched a movie. Travis wanted to know if you could pick him up after work at AJ's at 10.15. I said, yes, I can. I told him I would. I just needed to know what time to be up at his work. Okay, he asked me to text you because he was already at work before he got the chance. Oh, but he could text you. Hmm, curious. I said, okay. Um, I love you, thank you. I love you too, and you're welcome, but I still need a time. You said 10.15, Mama. I said, I did. Whoops, I said 10.15, she says. In the long text I sent, I said he wanted you to pick him up at AJ's at 10.15. I said, yeah, I know, babe. I got it sent to me backwards. Like, it was broke up into two texts, and I got the last part first, and the first part last. She's like, that's weird. It showed, it sent it all together on my phone. I'm like, yep, that's how I got it, lover. She's like, okay, lol. Well, I love you, and thank you for getting him. How's Herb's packing coming along? Uh, I said, fine, babe, but if you could, or if you get a chance when it's possible, you have to call me because it's imperative that you do, okay? I love you. My ringer's on. She's like, okay, I can tonight. I'm like, good, that works. Tonight being before I pick up Travis, correct? I'm like, hello? I'm like, either way, whether Travis is with me or not, it doesn't matter. It's just imperative. I talk to you. And then I said, I know you're texting him right now, trying to figure out what it could be. And between the two of you, you're not going to have any idea what it could be. I promise you that. And then I say, and even after I talk to you and we're off the phone from talking, you're not going to know why what said was imperative or what it has to do with anything. Promise you that. I said, hey, too, by the way, it's just me, your mom. I roar you in a non-threatening way. LOL. She says, LOL. Okay, I love you, too. I said, love you, bug. Hey, mom, he's off now. What are you doing, mama? They aren't asleep yet, so I really can't talk, but I was making sure you were okay since you weren't replying. Hey there, mama bird. Oh, that was just a little bit ago. Hey there, Mama Bird. She was on the phone with Travis, talking to Travis, but texting me that. I was driving. I don't know. She never did talk to me yesterday. So anyways, today, she's like, hey there, Mama Bird. I say, hi, sweet Toonie. What's shaking there, hot stuff? Oop, I almost forgot. I've got a message here for you. Watching a movie? What? What message? Ooh, what movie, baby love? Blow, I've never seen it all. Oh my goodness gracious, be holy rollers, gambling big money. Um, and then I forwarded her the text that I received from Eamon. And it says, LOL, I got you, girl. Ha, what is Alea's number? She's like, hey, can you pick Travis up from AJ's at 10 again? 
I said, yes, Labelle, I told him I would before he left. So uh, what about the last text I sent you? Don't you want to know who sent it to me? I already know, Eamon did. And I said, I figured Travis relayed the message and what I responded to Eamon with. But he also said to give you his number, which I figure you already have. So anyways, she's like, I don't have it. I'm like, okay, do you want it then? And then she's like, will you take care of Travis, make sure he eats and stays healthy and gets to work, sad face? And then she said, no, I won't be able to talk to anyone starting tomorrow. I am going into C-Star inpatient for eight weeks. I might be able to make it shorter. I don't know. Please promise you will. I said, what? Why all of a sudden are you impatient, Alea? Hello? Answer me please now. And since I didn't get to speak to you last night, uh, now would be, well, seems to be the only time we'll have. Hello? Why, Alea? What's happened? She's like, Mom, chill out. They finally called back and said what they decided. I can't be on the phone yet. Grammy's in the house. I said, that's fine. I don't care. I'll take whatever I can get. You can still text, can't you? She's like, not when I get there, no. But yeah, right now I can. I'm like, please answer me. I thought they already told you your test results. I was like, I know that you can't text there. I meant right now. <clears throat> She's like, mom, seriously, chill out. I'm sorry I'm not responding within two seconds. And yes, I said I can right now. Mom, you didn't promise. I really need to know you will do that for me. Mom, please, can you do that? Mom, answer. I was texting. I said, <clears throat> this was just now. I need to know what's going on, and you shouldn't have to ask me to promise something that you should know I will do. Travis is the only thing I have that's you, and he's here in the flesh every day. He isn't you at all, but his heart is, and I love him like my son. I will do all I can that I know about to do something about, but I don't know what I'm not told. I shouldn't have to promise. My position to always, always, always be here for you, no matter what, remains and will always be the only thing you can count on. The one thing you can always know as long as I live and breathe. And considering what you've tested me with, I don't see how you couldn't plainly see that I'm not kidding. I love you with all that I am and will do all in my power, all that I can do for you, for all of time, child. You should know my will has no other force driving it besides you, baby girl. And Travis is a given in that which has anything to do with you, does he not? So he is mine as well. Don't ask me foolish things that you don't have to worry about because from now on, you will just know, please. If I've ever asked you for anything, please let it be this that I'm asking you to give me now. From here on out, and that's, from here on out, and that's to know me. To know I know you. To trust me for God's sakes. Jeez, how can you not? <clears throat> she's like what the fuck she just sent that what the fuck what what the fuck what what what's what what did did I say something wrong Did I say something untrue? Did I ask you to do something that you don't feel right doing because you can't trust me? What? What the fuck? Really? What the fuck? To be continued.